So for the Jacobi iteration, Gauss-Seidel iteration as our method, we can all write in the state space representation, such as the matrices. We can also write as a looping uh, with the uh, element inside the matrices. So let's try in that way. Okay. So we have the Jacobi iteration. We can also write as a sequential format in the um, program. So i equals to one, two, three, and two. And that is basically the system size of your um, system. So we have x, i, k plus one. That will be the um, looping uh, format x i k plus one will be equals to one over a i i okay v i minus n j equals to one j is now equals to i so that um, is not the um, diagonal part a i j x j k and uh, for the k is the old value and you are running uh, this uh, sequential um, looping to guide the new value of x k plus one. And you can also calculate, uh, for example, you can rewrite it this way so that later the gauss seidel iteration is easy to write. That'll be vi minus v equals to one i minus one a i j x j k which this part is already calculated part, and that is uh, represent the lower diagonal times the xk minus j equals to i plus one and a i j x j k. So it's the same as the previous. You always use the old value to calculate the new value. That is the Jacobi iteration. You don't update anything during the iterations, right? Uh, so this part represents the upper triangular, which is the value you haven't calculated yet. So this is already compute. But for the Jacobi iteration, you don't have any update of the already compute system. Then for the gauss seidel iteration, you can also write as a sequential uh, format, now the matrices where uh, it's easier based on this format of the Zocopi iteration. So x i k plus one will be equals to one over a i i v i minus j equals to one i minus one a i j. Since this x j k is already calculated one, so you can update with the calculated value. So it's x j k plus one minus uh, j equals to x one uh, x i plus one until to n a i j x j k because this part you haven't calculated those numbers so it's not updated yet and um, that is for the gauss seidel iterations and you can run a loop for k equals to zero one two until you know um some numbers you can converge so this is represent the iteration steps uh for i equals one two until uh you know the system um uh the system size then you x i k plus one will be equals to one over a i i v i minus the sum of j equals one i minus one a i j x j k plus one that is the already computed value minus j equals to i plus one until n a i j x j k that is the now computed value so you run the loop and you can get all the x values you can have for a x equals to b system so you end you end um, and we also talk about, for example, um, for the gauss seidel iteration, it will converge faster. The eigenvalue of the gauss seidel iteration, that arrow matrices, is smaller as compared to the Zacobi iterations. And um, 
um, for the uh, sequential this computing. Um, this is how we can write in the programming uh, format. Okay, so for the uh, sequential uh, uh, writing part, as compared to the state space uh, matrices format, uh, it can um, writing in the programming format it can converge faster. as compared to the state space representation. And um, uh, that is why we introduced this uh, sequential writing part because it can converge faster if you write in this looping way as compared to the matrices part. And also um, the sequential um, writing is not good for parallel computing environments. Okay, so in a single CPU um, that computer you can write in this format using programming either my lab or Python that will converge faster as compared to how you write before using the matrices format. But um, using a multi um, multiple core CPU, um, if you use MPI, for example, the uh, multiple power line computing uh, uh, environment, the sequential format is not good to uh, use for that environment. Just as something, you know, extra for you to know. 